This is part two now of what I'm calling the basement, where we're going to be modeling and texturing somewhat of a haunted or ominous or dark basement scene. And in the last video, we modeled these panels, the floor panel, wall, pillar, and wall. And since that time, what I've done is I've gone in and I've just lengthened this pillar out a little bit this way. And I also removed any seam that was there and there and here. We're really not going to need those. So this is what we pretty much had last time. And now we're going to get to texturing. So I'm going to come in here and just select that. I'm going to look down from the top. And for this one, I'm just going to press U and project from view bounds. And that's the floor. Now for this one, I'm just going to come in here and I'm just going to press U unwrap so I get this and then I'm going to pack it. I'm going to use UV Pack Master. This one, you unwrap, select it and pack. And that's all we need to do for the UVs for that. They each have their own material. I've got a floor material on here. I've got a wall pillar and wall. And you'll notice that I've separated them out a little bit. That way I can bring them all into Substance Painter and the ambient occlusion won't affect each other. All right, so with them all selected, I'm going to create an FBX. And there are my pieces right there. So I'm going to come up here to the display settings, change my HDR, and scroll down and turn on anti-aliasing. And the next thing we need to do is bake the mesh maps. So texture set settings, bake mesh maps. I'll do this at 2K. I'll uncheck ID, uncheck thickness. And if we want, we can put on anti-aliasing and bake. Now the texturing that we're going to do in this video is going to be very preliminary. We just want to get the basic patterns on there and see how it's starting to look in Blender. And then we can come back and we can add the dirt and the dust and the grime and, and cracks and marble effects and all of that. So let's just start with the floor. Let's come to the floor texture set. Let's get rid of the uh, default layer there. And I'm going to come to my basic materials. I'm going to start typing concrete. And I'm just going to use this concrete simple. And we're going to start out with this. I'll just I'll make a couple of changes. I'm going to put the cracks at zero. And I'm probably going to change the color later. But for now, we're just going to do that. But I'm going to put the height range down to zero. So it's just like a flat, almost diffuse thing. I may decide, and we'll jump this up to something like three and rotate it a little bit. And I might even blur that out later. But we're going to just start with that. Okay, so there's our concrete layer. Now... On top of that, I'm going to create a fill, add a black mask, come to my polygon fill on this one here and just select that middle. Now that's where I'm going to have my tiles. All right, so now I'm going to put my tiles in a folder, so make a folder, drag that in, and I'm going to copy this mask and I'm going to put it on the folder layer as well, paste into mask. And that way my tiles that I create here are only going to go in here. So back to this main layer. I just need to make sure that's actually in there, in the folder, like that. Come back to here. Now I'm going to want some color, probably roughness and definitely height. I'll bring the height all the way up for now. Click on the black mask and I'm going to add a fill to there. And in the grayscale of that, I'm going to choose the tile generator. And you will see that my tiles are constrained to here. All right, I'm going to drag this up. And I'm going to scroll down, change the pattern type to square. And in the pattern transformation, I'm going to change the scale from 1 to 0.99. And now you will start seeing that. I'm going to change the number in the X to 12 and the number in the Y to 12. And now my tiles all fit. And that's what I, the dimensions that I want there. We have a little bit of height. And in order to make them alternating white and black, what I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll down here to mask. And here where it says checker mask, it's false. I'm going to change that to true. And now you can see I have white alternating with, well, right now it's just the concrete. I want to make that black. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to call this TG, TG1 for tile generator 1. And I'm going to take this and I'm going to duplicate this. And I'm going to call this TG2. I'm going to change the color to black. So now you're seeing black where the white was before. Come into the tile generator now. 
and rotate this by 90. And now I have white and black tiles. And they do have a little bit of height. I will decide later if I want that. There are other effects to add on to this, but we've got our basic floor pattern that we want so far. Okay, so far so good. Next, I'm gonna call this floor tiles. All right, I'm going to copy that concrete. I'm gonna to come to wall pillar, get rid of the default layer, and I'm gonna paste that on there. So we have that there. Once again, like I say, I might be changing this, but we just wanna get a texture on there that it's easy to swap, uh, swap that stuff in and out. All right, now I wanna get a tile pattern on here as well and have the concrete there. So I'm going to create a folder right off the bat and I'm gonna call this wall tiles. And I'm going to create a fill in that. I'll add a black mask. And I want this, I'm going to use my, my polygon tool. I'm going to choose the mesh fill. I want it all over this stuff. But I don't want it on this, and I don't want it on that. That's fine so far. we got other stuff to do. So I'm going to come over here. I'm going to want some color. I'm going to want roughness and height. I'm going to bring the height all the way up. Come over here. And on this black mask, I'm going to add a fill. And I'm going to use a tile generator again. And you can see it's going on everything, including this and this. And so what I need to do, of course, is I need to come up here to the folder, add a black mask. And I'm just going to reselect just the mesh there again. Okay, back down to the tile generator. And I'm going to use square again. Pattern transformation is going to be 0.99 for the scale. We're starting to see that. Now, underneath those tiles, we should talk about that as well, for that and for the floor. Right now, it's the concrete underneath that, so we'll deal with that. But I'm going to change this, actually, to triplanar. And I'm going to change the tiling to 3. And I'm going to change probably the number here to, let's try, I'm going to try 15. I want quite a few of these on here like that all right so like i say underneath here is the concrete we'll be changing this in this in just a minute as well so uh this is the tile generator so i'll just go tg for tile generator i'm going to create another fill and i'm going to use color and roughness only i'm going to bring the roughness all the way up and the color to black uh depending on what kind of grout or whatever you want in fact i'll call that grout and I'm just going to pull it underneath there, okay? So there's actually now black, and if I was to change this to like something like red, you can see the red going through there. So in case you don't want the concrete, I want to do that. I will do that as well on the floor. I might as well go ahead and do that. So I'm just going to create a fill. I'll drag it below, color and roughness. And you bring the roughness all the way up so that it's not reflective. Uh, I just want black under there. And whether it's very noticeable or not, it is in there. And I'll call that grout for the floor. Okay, so far so good. All right, so on the wall pillar, I'm going to drag the concrete above. I'm going to add a black mask, polygon fill. I'm going to switch to this one, and I just want to select that because I want that to be a different color uh, with, the t with the tiles showing through. All right, so, so far so good. So I'm actually going to take both of those. I'm going to copy those. And I'm going to come to the wall, get rid of the default, and paste them. But of course, I've got masks on them. So what I'll do is let's just clear that mask. Come over here, click there to, to put that down. And for the wall tiles, I'm going to clear that mask, polygon fill, and use the mesh, and put those in there. So hopefully that's going to be okay between the two of them. And now let's just look at the trim type stuff. I'll come back to the wall pillar, work on it there. All right, so now I'm gonna come over to my smart materials and I'm gonna search for a wood and you can use whatever you think looks good. I'm just gonna scroll down. That's, you know, not bad there. Drawers, let me see what that looks like. If I was to drag that over, I'm gonna go over everything. I think that's gonna be okay for what I want. So I'm gonna add a black mask Polygon fill on mesh, click there, and we'll see. I 
think that's going to be okay for what I want to do. So this is going to be, I'll call this, um, I'll call it railing for lack of a better term. I'm going to copy that layer over to the wall itself, paste that on top. I'll have to clear the mask and redo it. So that's there. I'll stay on this one and we'll do the trim down there. And for the trim, I'm going to search my materials. I'm going to use a plastic, just a plastic matte pure. Drag that over, add a black mask, polygon fill and select there. And then I'm going to change this. I'm going to use color roughness. That's really all I need. Let's bring the roughness maybe about halfway. Color, dark black kind of. And just so it's not quite as, you know, you can do all kinds of things, you know, with color variations and roughness variations. I'm just going to add the typical filter that I often will add this matte green, matte finish rough. And uh, try to have a look. You can see that. You can dial it back if you want. Just want to get it on there. And uh, that we're going to call trim. And I'll take that and I'll copy that layer back to the pillar here and I'll just drop it on top we'll clear the mask and redo that we have that all right now there is more to do okay on this but what I'm going to do right now if unless I'm missing something is I'm going to save this and we're going to bring this stuff back into blender so I've saved this as basement part two so I can keep adding to it all right, so these are the names of my materials, my texture set. So I'm going to go File, Export Textures. I'll switch this to a PBR export. I'm just going to use this one, which I always use. It's just got all the standard stuff. And let's find a location for this. So textures, do I have a textures basement? Let's create that. Te textures basement we can keep adding to that one and I'm going to export here you can see I've got floor wall pillar and wall textures make sure we save come back to blender go to the shading tab we'll start with the floor click on the principal BSDF and shift control T and find this where is it it's under textures basement there it is floor base color Hold down shift to roughness and principal texture setup. It's on there. The only thing is I want to get rid of this displacement node and this image. Okay, so we got that. Let's have a look now at the wall pillar. Select the principal BSDF, shift control T and choose the textures, principal texture setup and the wall itself, shift control T, wall, and once again, the only thing is, uh, I like to delete this. Let's take this and make sure we're on grid. And we'll snap that to there. Take this piece and snap that. Okay, and let's just build it up a little bit. Okay, so we have that. And I'll take this piece, and I should have my 3D cursor right there. I'm going to shift D. And I'm going to SX minus one and I'll do this one shift D SX minus one and we'll take these and we'll snap them along the grid all right let's have a little look inside here turn this on to get a sense of what we're what we're coming up with all right let's uh, just for now let's do this Let's add a few lights to make it a little bit more interesting. A point light. Let's bring it up near the ceiling. And I'm going to make this blue. And maybe 25. Look down from the top. And I will just put a couple of these here. Do something like that. And let's have a look at this. And I'm going to turn on this and turn that like that. Okay, we'll need some more light. Okay. And 
I think I'll take them. Let's just move them to the side and up so that we can start to see here. And let's just throw in an area light just for the fun of it as well. Okay, and of course, you know, we don't have any dirt or, or anything like that. Or, or any other objects but this is what what we're starting to to come up with and you see the tiles here and the tiles on the floor and this and that so I have some pipes and some wires and some other stuff in there all right so that's just the beginning of the texturing and uh, it's starting to look kind of interesting already so I'll see you in the next video